Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Velo City, Velo City, a bicycle game that I was actually kind of interested to play. I'm a glutton for punishment when it comes for these racing games. I found Thunder Alley, which is fantastic, and I love the idea of racing games. Unfortunately, so many times they come down to very weak mechanisms of rolling a dice and moving or playing a card. And the game becomes about blocking other players. Ave Caesar, which is a complete joke in our in our gaming group. Ave Caesar. So when I pull this out, Ave Caesar joke start. It's a hard hurdle for me to get over when it comes to a racing game. That whole mechanism of the game is just movement with blocking is lost on us. Um, I get very bored with it. Velo City has no blocking. It has, you're moving around the board. People can be on your space all day long. As a matter of fact, when you move, they can draft with you. Uh, very interesting. The problem this game had for me is just how simple it is. I just got done reviewing Little Italy. This isn't much more than Little Italy. Um, sure, this is a race. Little Italy was moving around and trying to get people to move where they wouldn't score points. I get, I get the difference. At the end of the day, the core mechanism of the game, or mechanic, is the same. I'm rolling some dice and I'm moving. Um, this one, I guess you do have to move your own guy. That one, you don't. And there's tweaks. I, I get the difference. I get it. I, I understand. It was just as boring, though. It just wasn't up there. And, and sometimes I wonder how a game is made. And sometimes I wonder who it's made for. Uh, you got a bicycle themed game. You got um, a really just a roll and move mechanic here with some ways to move extra. Okay? This would be really cool with probably children or family. You're not looking for something too harsh. There's some decisions when to use energy drinks, uh, when to mitigate your dice, when to draft. Um, steering clear of the obstacles is pretty important. It's an okay game. It's okay. Uh, there are better racing games. I feel like I need more in my games where I'm at right now as a gamer. Um, I have a lot of interest. I like movies, TV shows, my family time. I play some arcade games. Uh, you know, I practice law. I have a lot of things going on. So board gaming is one of those things also. And... Even though I game a lot, I still consider myself a casual gamer where I need something there to bring me in. Otherwise, I have other pursuits and interests that perhaps I'll do. This game falls into that. I see there's a market for it. I see the ease of play. I see what it's bringing to the table. I understand it. I get it. Yet, it's not for me. Um, if my kids were older, I feel like maybe this is a game that we would play. Um... I don't know that I would enjoy myself while I was playing it, so maybe I would steer my children to do something else with me that they would equally like or like more, and I also would like more. I hope that makes sense. Um, so Velo City is going to be a miss for me. With that said, it's not a terrible game. It's one of those games that's on the table, you play, hmm, nah, it's okay. It plays up to seven, which is nice. I think more is better with this game because you have more people moving around with you, and it's kind of fun. Uh, I didn't like the end game where the person who comes in last wins. I get it from a gameplay perspective. I understand why it was designed that way because there will just be a race to get that one guy across who is first is going to have a distinct advantage. And what you really want is a whole bunch of people coming because that's the game. So to keep everybody from just racing their first racer through, maybe a, start, a first player advantage, but there's dice runs, probably not. 
uh, to, to combat that, they made the tiebreaker who came in last. So then there's a, a finish for the game. And that finish is much more exciting that way. That was very good game design, but doesn't click with the theme to me. And there's a huge disconnect there that just made the end game, well, exciting, not thematically important to me. And it lost something to me. And I was surprised with that. Usually I'm for the game, but I love theme. So I was interested to find a bicycle themed game. Listen, people will like this game. It is a probably a fine filler. The more people, the longer it's going to go. Uh, but there are things to do. And, other, and I found a negotiation too a little bit in this game. Like, take me along and I'll take you next time if you're on the same space, that kind of thing. Uh, so, they would, so they would do the group one. Um, interesting, but not for me. This will be a purge. Uh, this will be a purge more because it's a little bit light for me and I have so many games that I can't keep them all. If I was in a budget, uh, well, if I was in more of a budget, and I had purchased this game, I probably would have held on to it a little bit longer than I am now. Hope that's helpful, but a purge. Here are the components for Velo City. You're gonna get a fairly thick box. Uh, I like to say Ticket to Ride sign of some pretty bicyclers. I like this box art quite a bit. I think it's just neat. Get a good vibe of the game. You're going to get an instruction manual, which will be in quite a few different languages. Here is English, which is what we speak. You are going to get a surprisingly small board. Uh, we're going to be racing through this town. You will be stickering your own game, which I hate. Big pet peeve for me. You will get these blue cylinders, which I don't like because they roll around the table and these will represent energy drinks. They're nice, they're wooden, they're great, but they just roll around. Same problem I have with Through the Ages. You will get six-sided die in each of the colors for the bikers, just regular dies, they're fine. Nothing special, but fine. And then you will get a number of these bicycler meeple dudes, they come in different shapes for no particular pur purpose, with different stickers, and you sticker them yourself. So mine look terrible. But these are good. I'm not a big, you get a whole bunch of these, a big bag of this and dice, and I'm not a huge fan of stickering my own stuff. Um, let me show you a couple more of these. I mean, mine just end up looking terrible. Oh, and you do have this bl big blue die that's probably nicer than the other ones that are used when you use energy drinks but you get a number of these guys and you can tell that all the little people yeah I didn't stick on my right so that's okay and you can see the little people and they're all a little bit different and that's Compose for Velo City very easy and these are the main component here The rule books that come with a lot of different languages irks me. I get why they're doing it. Um, but I always have to bend it back to where I want it to be so it's in English. When I open the box, it's in English. Um, the rules are really simple. Um, there was a rule that we missed the first time because it wasn't where I thought it should have been, which was when you're, when you're drafting, you don't get the, the energy drink when you draft. That would have been nice to have put maybe in two spots, under the energy drink spot and underneath the drafting spot in the rules. Um, the game is simple. It was, it was needless for me to have missed it. That I'll, I'll just say it's on me, but it would have been nice for it to have been in both places. Other than that, the rules are great. Didn't have any problems. It's a very simple game to understand and play. You can The box says 8+, plus, but I'm pretty sure while the strategy might not be there, younger kids can play this game. Velo City rules were fine. Good job. Okay, the game will be set up like this, and what you're trying to do is get through the whole board and get down here to the finish. The game has a really weird mechanic that ends it. Uh, this is the place, one through eight. If you get three of your bikers there, you immediately win the game. Otherwise, if there's eight bikers here of different colors, the game will end and whoever, well, whoever has the most bikers will win, but it's normally a tie. 
And whoever came in last place will then win. I thought that was weird. It wasn't who came in first place, it was who came in last. So It, it makes a dramatic ending to the game because then you're trying to be that person, whatever, that's last. But it's weird. I don't know that it works. I don't know that I like it. I don't like the fact that coming in last is the winner. Uh, on your turn, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to do a solo roll or a group roll. I'll show you how solo works. I'll go red. You roll the die, and you move that many spots. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pretend like I rolled a four. If I land on the energy drink, then I get an energy drink. I'll come back to these in a second. If I were to roll a six, and I had land on this, well, if you land on one of these obstacles, you will move back a space. That's how they work. Uh, you move back to the next, not space, but the next obstacle. So I rolled a four. And then let's say Green did a solo. He rolls a four. He ends up where I'm at, and he will get a energy drink. So when it comes back to Red, what Red can do on the next turn, let me tell you what you're going to do. So you can do a solo, which is you can roll your own die, or you can utilize an energy drink. And what the energy drink is going to allow you to do, it's called an energy boost, you get to roll the energy die, and you roll both dice, and you take whichever one you want, five or six. You always want to go the fastest, one, two, three, four, five. You don't want to go six because you're going to hit the obstacle and actually move back. So the five would be the way to go. Or if they had had two energy drinks, they can initiate a sprint. So they would, they would give up two energy drinks, roll both dice, and I can now move six, five, or eleven. That decision must be made before you roll the dice. Uh, and the last bit is, so let's say I use this five. One, two, three, four, five. Green could then spend an energy drink to draft with me. So if you're on the same space, he could spend the energy drink and come with me. And that's how drafting works. That is the solo ride. Now, when we were here, we could have Red could have chosen group, and then what he would do is he would roll the green and the red, right? Because they're on the same space. And I rolled a six and a three. Now I can utilize either of these dice. If I use the three, I will move by myself. One, two, three. But interesting enough, the six was more. And if I had utilized the six, then the green must come with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obstacle, we would go back. I probably wouldn't have done that, but just to illustrate it, that's what could happen. <clears throat> now, when you're using group, you can also use an energy. I use my energy cam for an energy boost, and then I would also roll the blue die. Once again, this decision must be made before you roll the dice. Okay? If I move with the blue die, then green would not have come with me. Now with this one, you can never use the two energy to add them together. Cannot do it. But if I had moved one, two, three, once again, green could have used energy to draft. So that would still be available for him. That is, now anybody could use that. So if there were three of us here, we could all use, they could all use that draft and come with me. The only caveat is if, so if red had moved to this energy source, he would get an energy can. If these guys drafted with me, they would not get the energy can. They would not get the energy drink at all. That is the entire game. You're trying to race around the board, and you're gonna have five of each color, and you'll be trying to fill this up, and the first one with three will win, like I said. Or if it's a tie, if all eight fills up the game ends, if there's a tie, whoever came in last wins. Uh, very bizarre. Well, that's Velo City. I mean, really, you're just rolling the dice and moving, and there's some decision making in it. These energy drinks will come in. I'll try to get as many of those as you can. Uh, but that's Velo City. Who should buy this game? I'm going to say families. This is a nice family game, especially if you're a biker. Uh, and not vroom, 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 biker, but. Uh, uh, Bicycle biker. Uh, and you like to pedal the wheels and do all that kind of stuff. Um, if you like to dress like this. I'm not big on exercise. I tried it one time and I was about to die. So I, I gave it up as quickly as possible. But 
if you're into bicycling, this is a cool theme, and it'll attract you. I think families can play this. You know, it's very, it's very um, mundane and very, it will capture people in. You could take this game on Thanksgiving and play with non-gamers and be like, here's a little fun game. They're going to understand the rule and move. They're going to understand the dice. They'll get the energy drinks, get you some spe extra things. A player aid may have helped for those type of players that don't play a lot of games like perhaps we do. Um, but there's not a lot of options. One, you roll both dice. Two, you roll both dice, but you can, you can add them together. And then one to draft. Like it's not It's not rocket science here. So I don't think people will struggle with it, although that could have been easily imprinted on the board or something. Other than that, I, I mean, I think that I think that people will like this for a light game. Uh, for a filler, you're going to want it to be a little bit shorter, perhaps. But this isn't a bad party game either. And and, and I, I, I don't know if I get beat up for that sometimes, but you know, a party game doesn't have to be just yell numbers. It can be a game that can be played in a party atmosphere with a really light game really light rules where winning and losing doesn't really matter that much. Don't don't beat me up. That might not be the best definition, but I think you get my point. You could pull this out at a party with, I guess, up to seven people. It would have been nice to have eight. Uh, but seven people, and, you know, they can easily understand this and play this if they wanted to. To me, a seven-person game is a party. Um... You know, you start getting over four, you know, it's, it's not two couples or four friends. You're getting a lot of people. I think over six to me is a party game. Um, but this is going to have a place for some people. And really, this is going to be one of those things where maybe where the theme attracts you. You know, this over Ave Caesar or something. Although they're different games, I get that and recognize that. But the theme might be the one that interests you. And, and, and that's Velo City. It's going to be a purge for me, though.